Welcome to Intro to AP Computer Science for new AP teachers. This topic is basically the last one, uh, at least in this video series, is 2D arrays, at least one of the main topics. Let's go ahead and take a look. So we'll take a look at what is a 2D array. Again, this assumes that you know what an array is. Um, so basically it's an array of arrays. And we'll talk about how to create a 2D array, accessing and modifying 2D array elements, and it's, we use the row and the column, uh, something in how to traverse a 2D array. It's pretty simple. Enhanced for loops, doing the same thing. That's actually a little bit more complicated. And then some algorithms. Uh, again, just talk about those same algorithms from before and what students might need to, be, to do. And then a little quick introductory exercise to cap that off. So a 2D array is an ordered data structure that has rows and columns. So I usually think of a spreadsheet. You know, so you have a row, you have a column, and uh, you know, there's data in each of those cells. So the, it holds one type of data. It can hold primitives and reference types, which are objects. It is fixed in size. So just like a regular array, the size is fixed. So when you create the size, you got to know how many cells you need. And it is randomly accessible through two indices. In this case, row and column. Uh, you can think of it as X and Y. But then, the, but the order would be different. Y comma X so that kind of confuses people. So I stick with row and column. It's called row major order. So to create a two D array, it's very similar to uh, creating a one D array, except everything's doubled. So you'll see type square brackets square brackets uh, name equals new type, and then the number of rows and the number of columns. So for example. Uh, int square bracket square bracket scores equals new int three three. So in this case, there are nine elements because we have three rows times three columns. Top left element is index zero zero, and the bottom right element is index two two. Okay, because we don't get the three; it's zero one two. And of course, the default value for an array of integers is zero. So we can also create arrays that are pre-populated with values. So for example, we have a little number grid here. Again, this is also a three by three grid. So here is our first array, one, two, three, comma, our second array, four, five, six, and our third array, seven, eight, nine. So this is the values based on what we have here uh, is what we would see. And this would be like a number pad, for example. You can see, so this is a row, this is a row, this is a row, 147, so column zero, column zero, column zero, column one, column one, column one, column two, column two, column two, row zero, row one, row two. Very straightforward. Um, accessing and modifying array elements. To access and modify an array element, you need the index of the row and column. So very similar to 1D arrays. So value equals name, square bracket row, square bracket column. Modifying, it's the exact opposite, you know, reverse that. Name, row, uh, and column equals value. Traversing. Uh, in this case, we need a uh, nested loop. So you can see here. So for int row equals zero, actually, that's wrong. I should, I should fix that. But I'm running out of time, so I don't have time to do it right now. <laughs> I guess I'll redo it. Fudge. Uh, 